Well, hello, everybody. Uh, so today I wanted to demonstrate uh, live teching to you. So I want to show uh, how you might produce a, a nice looking mathematical document. And I think some of you have already used uh, LaTeX to produce uh, documents, but some of you haven't. And if you've never used LaTeX to produce uh, sort of a nice looking mathematical document, I just want to encourage you to, to go out and try. I'll put a link to the description down uh, in the description down below to uh, Overleaf, which is uh, a web based tool that you can use to, to get started. In the meantime, though, I just want to demonstrate a little bit of, of LaTeX to you. So uh, I'm going to do that with this live tech environment here. So uh, LaTeX is a system for uh, producing documents. So it starts with a uh, just a plain text file, which is what you see at the bottom of the screen here. And it then uh, produces a, a nicer looking uh, document, which is what we see at the, the top of the screen here. Uh, it's based on uh, tech. So if you've heard about, about tech, LaTeX is, is built on top of that. And uh, you know whatever you type in uh, in between the uh, the begin document end document gets uh, gets printed. So the the things I uh, type here get get printed. I mean unless uh, you know there is a uh, a comment character. All right. So here the, the percent sign makes a makes a, a comment. Okay. So uh, maybe some other kind of uh, gotchas that, that are a little bit confusing. Uh, paragraphs break with uh, two new lines. Uh, so this is a new, uh, new paragraph. So I have to put a little bit of space between there in order to get a, a new paragraph. Now, if you want to see some mathematics, uh, you, know, you put the math in, well, one thing you can do is put it in dollar signs like, uh, like, like this. Um, maybe it is better to use oops, uh, something like like this, where I've got a slash open paren x plus y equals three. Some example mathematics slash uh, close paren. Just because with the with the dollar signs, it can be a little bit confusing because a, a beginning and ending delimiter then is exactly the same thing. So I think the the backslash open paren backslash close paren is maybe a little bit a little bit safer. Uh, if you want uh, mathematics on its uh, own line, a displayed equation, uh, you can do uh, something like like this, uh, where I put slash uh, begin square bracket and then slash close square square bracket there, and that puts the mathematics on its own line. Or you could use uh, double. Oops, I can't spell double dollar signs uh, like like this. But again, that that suffers from the same danger that uh, double dollar sign uh, is both the beginning and the ending delimiter then. So maybe slash uh, open square bracket and slash close square bracket is a little bit a little bit safer. Uh, well, we can do a lot more uh, sort of nice looking mathematical typesetting uh, with with this kind of system. Uh, we can write things like uh, Maybe an example of uh, of exponents. I can write things like x squared plus uh, y squared uh, equals equals one. Uh, you know, I can maybe put that in a in a displayed environment. Uh, x squared plus let's see y to the twelfth and see what happens. Whoops! So here you see I got y to the one two. So I need to put uh, curly braces around around that. Uh, you can use some of your favorite mathematical functions. Uh, you know, you can try like backslash sine of x is a uh, is a nice function. Now, if you didn't put that backslash there, then it would just look like the variables s times i times n times x. So it looks a little bit better when you put the backslash in front of uh, sine there. Uh, let's see, you can get roots with uh, say backslash square root. Of of x, uh, so that you know that's certainly a, a useful thing to be able to do uh, as as well. Um, maybe the most dramatic thing would be some showing off some fractions. So here is an example of uh, fractions. We'll do it in a displayed environment, and we use backslash frac uh, backslash frac a over d plus whoops uh, b over d equals these have a common denominator. Uh, a plus b over over d. Uh, let's see. You can get uh, integrals. Let's take a look at some at some integrals. I'm going to do the integral 
from a to b of uh, f of x dx. And you can see here that I uh, use an underscore to get the subscript a and a caret to get the uh, upper index there on the, the b there. And I also use backslash comma just to put some space between the uh, f of x and the, and the dx. Uh, let's see, and uh, you can do sums. So we could do, uh, say, the sum n equals uh, 0 to infinity of, uh, let's write, frac 1 over n. So that's the, oh, that's terrible, isn't it? I got n equals 0 here. Let's start that at 1. n equals 1 to infinity of uh, 1 over n. It's our harmonic series there. So you can write the uh, the stuff below the sum uh, with a caret, and you got to surround, or with an underscore rather, and you got to then surround that in in curly braces. It's sort of interesting to see what happens if you do this in uh, inline mathematics, or if you don't like that that format with the uh, whoops with the open and close uh, parens. So you can see how it you know formats it to look quite quite a bit different. There, um, let's see, and maybe the, the definition of, of derivative would be a reasonable thing to, uh, to end with. So I'll write f prime of x equals the limit h to 0 of the fraction f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So that looks, that looks pretty nice. So hopefully this gives you at least some idea of how you could get started uh, with doing some uh, LaTeX for uh, communicating mathematics and making the, uh, at least the equations look, look nice. Uh, you know, the, the main thing is just to get started and to try it out. So if you go to Overleaf, which I put the link down in the description below, you can, you can go in and explore this, uh, uh, these different commands for yourself and see you know, what sorts of beautiful documents you can produce with, with LaTeX.